let's get on with the show. Um, today's guest is the Red Panda I talked about in the beginning. She's the Red Panda. First time Red Panda ever been on the show. First time Red Panda ever been on the show. Red Panda ever been on the show. And of course, she has a wonderful following. And on top of that, she's very chill, very cool, very awesome, very amazing. Please, people, give a warm round of applause and welcome for Kim! <laughs> Thank you for that uh, extremely warm welcome. Oh my god. You're welcome. Look at that tail. It's so cool. Tail. Fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> there she is, folks. The mighty kitten herself. Welcome to the show, Kitten. Thank you for coming on the show. Darn, that model. Thank you for it's... having me. Yeah. Yeah, no probs. Blair Bone says, now that is an excellent welcome. Ah, oh, thank you, Blair. <laughs> welcome Blair, to the show. Hi. Ah, Blair's a regular, I think so, from your streams. Yes, Blair has uh, been hanging around my stream for a while now. Delightful, delightful. Well, welcome to the show, Blair, and welcome, Kieran. So, let's start off with the questioning. I don't know why, I, I thought I was going to say something else, but I'll just say, now let's start with the, with, with the interview <laughs> questions. <laughs> you good to go with that? All right, so let's, let's put, let's put, there we go. So, it's a nice simple one, the usual icebreaker question. What's a food that you enjoy and dislike? Well, uh, if you ask me as Kieran the Red Panda, apples very much so are uh, my favorite thematically. And just, I've done like the apple taste test and everything on mm -hmm. Twitter before for uh, just any apple that I could find in the grocery store, I would rank them so everyone could find out what the Red Panda's favorite and recommended apples were. Ooh. But, uh, Putting apples aside, okonomiyaki is my other like big favorite food. Although no restaurants near here make them, and they're Aww. kind of an ordeal to make at home, but very worth when I do. If, if people don't know what it is, it's basically a savory pancake filled with cabbage, and then whatever kinds of meats and other things that you want, often with like pork belly uh, on one end that's cooked on a flat top griddle, and then you've got uh, okonomiyaki sauce, which is kind of sweet and savory, and uh, bonito flakes, and kewpie mayo, and uh, onori seaweed on top. It's just amazing, super customizable, savory pancake of goodness. Please try it if you get the chance. High recommend. I, I know. dislike, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Look how her mm -hmm. eyes kind of squint down. What I dislike. Mm. Oh, and folks, I don't... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Kina. No, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, folks, I just want to let you know, I'm, I'm sorry for the followers-only chat. I only have it on there to keep uh, uh, mischievous bots away who may post crappy links. So, mm. um, yeah, that's how it keeps them out because bots don't follow. So that way they can't post links uh, if I have it as followers-only chat. So don't worry. If you just want to lurk, don't worry about that. Um, but, yeah, that's why I have it set for that. Not not as like a, you must follow me in order to talk. No, 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 no. <laughs> it, it, it's to keep out the malicious bots that kind of been, have been flooding t uh, Twitch. So, just a heads up, folks. Okay, Kiran, you were talking about now the foods you possibly dislike. Hmm, you got that look about mm, you. Know. It's, it's hard for me to pick things that I straight up don't like. Okay. But, uh, it's like, I don't like uh, coffee that doesn't have an absurd amount of cream and sugar. <laughs> I love the smell of coffee. I, uh, I hate the taste of plain coffee, black coffee, or it just needs all of the sugar to drown out the bitterness, but the... the Underlying notes are nice, but the <laughs> coffee itself kind of tastes like roasted dirt. So <laughs> sounds like my grandfather. No to coffee. Um, I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms, but that's more of a textural thing. Mm -hmm. And mm, natto, I hate natto. It's gross. Oh, natto! I've heard so much beans, about that. Gooey, stinky, really stinky. Some people love them, and I hate. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, well, we do have an answer there, folks. Natto is a no-go for this yeah. red panda. Uh, what was your favorite apple, by the way? I, I might have missed. You might have said it. I'm sorry. Uh, out of all of the ones that I've found in stores for the taste testing, Cosmic Crisp ranked Cosmic. the highest. It was really good. It's kind of the uh, quintessential apple in my mind now. If I have Ooh. a choice, that's the one I'm picking. There are a few that I haven't been able to find. That I know I want to test uh, at some point, like Brayburn, 
is one that people talk highly of, but I haven't found one in a store near me. But right now, Cosmic Crisp reigns supreme. Ah, Cosmic Crisp. Hey, I always forget. Okay, how do I pronounce that name? You are always in Sumil's chat. Plono. Thanks for the anyway, Thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, I gotta say that real <laughs> quick. Um, these are the follows that happen off screen. Uh, Spartan Kevin, thank you for the follow. Blair Bones, thank you. Nyaosta. Uh, Saifi, Baby Seal, and Bear Seven. Thank you all for the follows when I wasn't talking. So I'm, I'm saying them now. <laughs> okay, so Cosmic, Cosmic Crunch. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Cosmic Crisp. Crisp, Crisp. Yes. My bad. Cosmic Crisp. You're good. It. Awesome. So you hear that, folks? So no Tonato. Yes, the Cosmic Crisp, and she mm -hmm. likes some coffee with her sugar. So yes, yes. <laughs> that's the situation. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's one. If I may ask, what inspired you to become a VTuber? Who or what got you into it? Mm, I had tried streaming a while back, a couple of years ago, oh, and right. I really enjoyed it. But there was a lot of just like effort involved with uh, making myself presentable and making sure the lighting was nice. And yeah. then you have to make sure like your camera angles are good and everything. And it was just very, very... Oh, lots of effort for not much. So I kind of dropped it for a while because nobody's going to click on some random no camera streamer either. Sure. And then I wasn't really aware of much of the big VTuber boom at the start, but Bear, who is my husband, um, at one point suggested like, hey, why don't you try this? Like, you liked streaming. The main issue was that you didn't like setting all of the visual stuff up beforehand. Right. You could do this. And I looked into it and I was like, wait, I could do this. No way. And, so, um, so Bear introduced you to the possibility of VTubing. Mm-hmm. All right. Buzz Bondo for the wind. Okay. <laughs> yes. And uh, I was already doing freelance work, so it's not like I had to super adjust things to uh, give streaming a shot. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, once we realized, like, this is actually going okay, we had a bunch of big discussions, and we're like, all right, we're, we're going all in. You can try to do full-time streaming. Go for it. We're going we're gonna to treat it like a real commitment thing, and uh, somehow we've made it this far. And I'm having such a good time with it. I'm really, really glad that we decided to take this chance. Wow, I'm glad too. I'm so many others. Uh, good on you. How how long ago did this begin? I mean, uh, how long have you been going? If I may ask, I'm sorry if I if I missed the the bulletin. If you've gone oh, away totally for six fine. months and whatnot, but yeah, how long have you been uh, doing this? I think I started streaming again with a PNG in, I want to say February, and oh. uh, there's still like one or two clips from back then that are uh, very crunchy microphone audio and things like that that were those were some of the first things that we worked on uh cleaning up because png or full-on model if if your audio is bad mm -hmm. nobody is going to stick around for more than five minutes yeah like that's the first thing that uh being a streamer that talking is is what you are uh offering to viewers if you sound like you are uh at a drive through Emperor, fast food. Yeah. Nobody's gonna stick around. So we we worked on that, and uh, I want to say, in April, I got my first uh, live two D model. I was very very lucky. Oh. I won a raffle for <gasps> uh, bust up art, and uh, found somebody to rig it for me. And I hugely hugely feel like I owe the the first model artist Lee one HP. Uh, so much for being able to like be where I am today with streaming. Oh, delightful. Let's get that name in the chat. How it's actually uh, spelled. Yeah. I can do that real quick. Uh, I don't know if you have shout out commands turned on. Oh God, I'm not following. I'm a terrible oh. person. <laughs> on this show. Shout out Lee one okay. H. There, there are too many platforms, kid, to remember them all. I'm I everywhere. Oh God. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I, I don't think I have shout out commands, but there you go. Lee one H. Fine. That should be. But uh, they, they held a raffle, and I had been uh, on a wait list for a different model and rigging uh, mm -hmm. group. And 
I uh, was informed that they were at the very least pushing slots back two months one day, and then the next day the raffle ended, and I was told, hey, you won the thing. I was like, this could literally have not come at a better time because I was feeling really, really disappointed uh. that that wasn't going to be uh, possible for me for at least a long time, and it it all was just a really, really wonderful boon, and yeah, I owe a lot to Lee. Lee, if you're listening, if you're out there, well, you're always out there, so good vibes <laughs> for Lee, folks. Let's give it up for Lee. Lee, HP! There you go. Fachi, 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 thank you for giving this red panda uh, the, the much-needed boost of uh, vigor that she needed during a rough time. The fortune is just smiling upon you, it seems, Kiana, I gotta say. <laughs> I... I don't consider myself a uh, terribly lucky person usually, but I am incredibly lucky with uh, things like that that have happened and that people have given me a chance as so far as clicking on my stream and everything. So I have big appreciation towards everyone. Excellent. Well, there's, 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 there's reason to appreciate everybody because they're awesome. From what I've seen yeah, in the chat, are. it's a very welcoming community you have. I got to say, like a very sweet one. You know, you say hello. Somebody say hello. You say goodbye. They say goodbye. It's just, it's, I mean, you don't need that but uh, to have a good community. But it's very friendly and very, very warming and very inviting, I got to say. so. Yeah, that was that was really one of my goals when I started streaming was to have a cozy community rather than just like, ooh, I want people to... Like, okay, within the VTuber space, there are a lot of people that want fans or they want uh, simps, so to speak. <laughs> I don't yeah. care about that. I really wanted to just make a cozy space where I could play games and hang out with people and have a good time and like let them take a load off and they could drop some stress and chill in my chat or Discord or anything. So the fact that that has actually uh, formed in, in my community is great. and. I'm very, very happy to be a part of that. Yep. Well, you know, you got to pat yourself on the back for that because your direction took hold. It really did form into that. So congrats to you on that one, Kieran. So <laughs> it is a fabulous community. I got to say, I'm saying it again because it's worth saying again, folks. Well <laughs> done to you. Those of you in the chat, I'm sure you're part of the Kieran community. So thanks. To, shout outs to all of you. That's right. All, I, I keep saying this to everybody in my community, but like I may be the one that's on green but i wouldn't be doing this without you guys so <laughs> it's actually because of you mm -hmm. do y'all see that that's the truth coming from the panda and look at that the model just reacts to like every single freaking facial expression and whatnot I love it. <laughs> it's just so damn fanciful i love it and so so what's the one i'm looking for detailed uh uh, idiosyncratic, all that goodness of details, it's just, it's fabulous. This guy be like the, the most spick and span model uh, slash VTuber I've ever had on, on the show to date. Look how sharp she looks! It's amazing! I'm really Look glad that you, uh, that you like it. We put a lot of thought and effort into picking a uh, artist and rigor for uh, mm -hmm. updating my model to being full body, and it, it certainly wasn't easy picking amazing options out there, especially, like, balancing Sure. budget and value and everything yeah. on top of it but i couldn't be happier with it and the whole point is so that it enhances everyone else's stream experience too so whenever people uh say that they really like how expressive it is or anything it just makes me very very happy Ah, uh, well it is very expressive and i'm glad people can see it too they have eyes and hearts so they use them and uh, i gotta <laughs> say standing next to me you probably look even better i'm as Basic as it gets. I'm a children's drawing compared to you. <laughs> so it's perfect. The contrast, is, it works. It's like they go into this cartoon show and all of a sudden it's like it's like um, classic Disney and all of a sudden a Pixar character drops in. You know, it's like, oh, okay. I, I, see, where, I see where technology is heading in the next 50 years or so. Got it. <laughs> Look forward to those um, Finding Nemo graphics underwater. That stuff was hard to do. Anyway, <laughs> um, here's, here's, here's a, here's a uh, very fun one that I like to ask the, my guests. Since becoming a VTuber, what was the what was surprisingly the hardest and easiest thing for you? Mm, let's see. Um, surprisingly easiest is what I'll start with. Actually, filling the dead time on stream with thoughts, like just ah. having content for the entirety of my stream. Basically, I try really, really hard to not drop a lot of uh, time, but it's it's hard, it really is. But I try, in my, my strategy for that is basically just stream of consciousness. Uh, I just <laughs> say whatever comes to mind. 
So, uh, for some reason, and that's why, that's part of why I'm really surprised that people enjoy watching me because I'm just out here rambling goofy things half the time <laughs> that pop into my head. <laughs> but it fills the, it fills the air. And, uh, I think it maybe helps people like, uh, understand who I am, I guess. And, uh, feel a little bit more like a part of the community mm -hmm. to have that sort of extra insight into the the weird stuff that happens in the panda head i guess <laughs> so so that is surprisingly easy for uh getting back into streaming also that like of course when you're doing vtubing you need to be very conscious of like the camera mm -hmm. and how you're moving i've found myself like really exaggerating my expressions and movements to make sure that uh, my model is being properly expressive. But sure. it wasn't that hard to make the transition. I just kind of spent a bit of time in front of VTube Studio figuring out what kind of movements uh, make what kind of reactions and how much do I need to exaggerate, like how open my mouth is mm -hmm. and uh, things like that. The downside is I think I definitely do more like moving of my head around at different angles when talking normally now. <laughs> A little bit of that uh, expression stuff is passing over into into real life as well. But oh, no. I think that's all right. <laughs> like they see you eating at a table and you're bobbing back and forth and your eyes are mm -hmm. bulging. It's just like I'll, I'll like tilt my head back and forth a little bit, a little extra, or like turn my head to the side more or like tilt it while I'm thinking and talking, things like that. <laughs> just They make the model much more expressive, but it's a little bit odd to see in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that that woman's got lots of energy. Let's let's be more like her and everyone starts moving like that. So it's a, that's the next trend yes. coming up. <laughs> yes. Um let's see. As far as something that was unexpectedly difficult. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe maybe the thing that I've had the most difficulty with is actually just uh I I feel weird phrasing it like this, mm -hmm. but networking and social media presence okay i'm a very very introverted person actually and really uh, oh yeah oh my oh, god yes oh, okay i could i can't tell that you, you you put in so much practice into it it doesn't show okay i'll take your word yeah, for it i am super introverted i also uh grew up being told don't share that personal information on the internet or the bad people are gonna come find you so like <laughs> Talking about my my daily life or sharing things like that on Twitter and all of these things that are important for both networking and like branding, just interacting with people who might want to uh, learn more about Kieran the Red Panda VTuber outside of her streams, that doesn't come very naturally to me. Okay. And then uh, I also have never used anything like TikTok or Instagram, so the sort of like uh, small bite-sized video content kind of thing yeah. is also not something that I'm very familiar with, but that's also what does very, very well now. So since right. I'm committing to VTubing as, as my full-time job option, it's things that I need to branch out into, mm -hmm. but it's just like, oh God, how, how do I condense everything into this? Like... <laughs> There are all these trends that they don't really fit what I want to do. Sure. Um, I have to pass up on a lot of trends on Twitter and things because I try and uh, frame myself as a much more wholesome and family friendly streamer. Uh, I don't go into any of the like lewd, waifu y anything <laughs> kind of uh, V2B space. Yeah, and uh, nah. a lot of trends follow that sort of thing. So when there's things like the uh, peaking hands and things like that, I try and jump on that. But in general, keeping up with that and making that kind of content has been quite the challenge for me. Ah, understood. Well, folks, you heard it right there. I do not have to spend that as a challenge, but I can relate. Um, but first, let me acknowledge the chat. They've been so kind. So, um, Blair Bone says, Woo! Lee! I know it was a while ago. Uh, Blair also says, basic maybe, but with style. And I want to say thank you, Blair. Thank you. I do like my tie, my crossbone tie, uh, and my cigar. It is very stylish. Oh, thank you. I really mean it. Thank you. That's really... <laughs> and, <laughs> um, 
We have uh, Kiran Sari. Thank you for the follow. And also, thank you for the adorable emote. I like that. The little bunny right there. I don't know where that's from, but uh, you noted. That's uh, the emote. And Okami David. Welcome. Okami's a wonderful regular of mine. So, on, on the subject of relating to the social media situation, that that's difficult. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say I'm an introvert so much as I'm old-fashioned. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't I do not do Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook. I actually don't even have Facebook, believe it or not. Never have. And so that probably was a shock to me. Um, I don't know. I just I just find it kind of noisy. I'm, I like it quiet. Mm -hmm. That's usually why I, I have stayed away from it. So I still don't even know how to do the TikTok and all that goodness uh, for the uh, uh, sake of promotion. I, I probably should get on that. But um, I'm really uh, impressed that though it was out of your, um, your the norm for you that um, you managed to uh, adopt it so well. So that's fantastic. I mean, I'm honestly uh, surprised that it's uh, gone so well, but recently, I want to say that the new model honestly brought a lot of uh, visibility to me on social media rather than just on Twitch. Okay. Before that, uh, my Twitch numbers were way, 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 way bigger than my Twitter numbers, which to me is totally fine because I care about the streaming side of things far <laughs> yeah. more. Mm -hmm. But um, I, when 2.0 was uh, around the corner, we got a uh, promo video made before the, the re-debut of the Red Panda. Ah. And uh, that really took off because people like looking at fancy looking live 2D. And uh, so. we get, we made sure to get like high quality editing done. And I think that the editor that I got did an amazing job. But uh, that's really gotten me, it's cemented a decent uh, following and amount of visibility on Twitter for me since then, which is really nice. And that lets me uh, put more effort into making those kinds of little Twitter content things. It's hard to get returns on them when you're flinging them into the void, yeah. I guess, is kind of how I feel <laughs> about it. So now they actually have a chance to get a foothold. Now Twitter can actually be useful instead of just, I'm saying things to two people. <laughs> And it gets lost in translation, and maybe someone digs it up aeons later. <laughs> yes. No, oh, oh, that's the fantastic. Twitter archaeologists. Yes, yes. The uh, excavators of Twitter, the aliens from now, who will look onto the sites and go, oh my goodness, this is so much garbage. Oh, here's something cute. It's a red panda. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a lot of garbage out there. Oh my God. There really is. Um, what was I say? Uh, so, so it was on Twitter where you first posted that really short uh, promo video. Is that where you uh, first did it? That's where it went. Uh, uh, it, yes, the the promo went on Twitter, and then I also posted it on uh, the virtual YouTubers subreddit. Um, okay. I don't know how much traction came from there, but it definitely took off on Twitter. By far, it's my uh, most interacted with post by like a ridiculous margin. Wow. But uh, I. I think that it definitely did help bring people towards uh, my stream and my content, so I think it was very worth it. It's it's hard to quantify social media presence transforming into uh, actual streaming viewer presence. Yeah. But I want to say that that was worth it. That that uh, definitely helped bring a boost. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, given that it's your most popular video and some results speak for themselves as it probably drew more viewers than you saw after that, I say it was a success. Like I said, you can't quantify it, but you can, you can certainly say, oh yeah, it helped. Yeah. <laughs> that you can say for certain. Um, so here, here's one of, the, one of the last few questions I've got, but this is another good one. A video game. What's a game that you've been wanting to play but never got around to, like never played it ever, that you're most mm. interested in playing? It could be years, months, or days, but what's number one that you have not played and want to play it? Mm, that's a really, really tough question. I definitely have a lot of games in my backlog. Mm -hmm. um, recently, I played Nier Automata after, after my 2.0 debut, and I, that would have been topping the list, probably, if I hadn't finally just finished that. But, uh... Past that, instead of near, I'd maybe say some of the the Yakuza series of games. Oh no way! I haven't played them. I have a handful of them on Steam. I really want to go for it. Just need to set aside the time and just officially put it on a schedule. Nice the Yakuza game. Do you guys do them chronologically? Uh, you know, like one all off from the beginning and. I'm not sure what the like best way to do it is. I'll probably reach out to people that I know have played them and enjoyed them and yeah. see what their opinions are on it but um 
just heard so many good things. I've seen tidbits of them on other people's streams. Mm -hmm. I know that they're like mini games you can literally waste entire days playing. <laughs> that, uh, that sounds really fun to me. But I also really, really like story driven stuff and like yeah. characters with uh, varied motivations and things like that. And pretty sure that this series is going to offer all of that and more. So big time on my want to play list. Big time, folks, for the Red Panda Kitten, the Yakuza series. If anyone there is a Yakuza fan, she may be talking with you sooner than later. Yes. So, actually, yeah, that series does look very fun. All I know is about the friggin' meme that came out of it was the Bakamitai. So, that's all I yeah. know. <laughs> that, that's about as familiar as I am with it. But other than that, it looks pretty darn fun. So, yes. I, I hope you get around to that. And I hope maybe I can join in some of those streams. That would be very fun. I'd be happy to have you around. Yeah, always happy to be around and support good people. So, and you are good people. I'm just putting it out there. I'm not gonna say like I'm like oh it's a back mistake though. <laughs> I have to make it clear. Making me blush. Ah, like a red apple. <laughs> oh, no. oh. <laughs> All right, let's go with the last question. After that, folks, we're the kid is gonna play a Pokemon game, and you are gonna be the challenger. So get your Pokemon caps on because well, she needs a worthy opponent. And chat has been pretty unstoppable. So let's wrap up with one last question. Okay. All right. If this is not too private a question, the name Kitten. Why is that the name for the model? Well, uh, so later on I'm going to be talking about why you guys should uh, play Golden Sun because it's the best ever. And uh, I may have taken the name Kirin from a location within one of those games oh. because I was like, that sounds pretty. I like Golden Sun. I like this name. That's going to be my name. And that's all, that's all <laughs> it was. There is no like special meaning, just sounds nice. And it's attached to something that I really, really personally like. So uh, let's do that. I don't have any better ideas. That's and perfect. And then I really just have gotten attached to the name. That, hey, no better way than to take it from something you love. So yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. That's kidding is kidding. Ha, ha, ha. I like that origin, honestly. Nice and simple, straight <laughs> up. I like it. I'm going to use it. Yeah, I love it. Let's go with it. All right, folks. Give it up for kidding for being a wonderful guest here for the interview spot. We're moving on to the next game, which is the Pokemon game.